What's up dudes, welcome back to Learning Cali. Today we're going to be going over adding users, changing passwords, adding those users to groups, uh, and different things like that. So, let's go ahead and hop right in. Um, if you haven't changed anything about your Cali system uh, up to this point, your username should be Cali and your password should also be Cali. If you have changed your password, I hope that you remember what you changed it to. Go ahead and log in with that. And once you get to the desktop, go ahead and open up a terminal. You want to manage most things in Linux uh, through the terminal, and users are no exception. Uh, for these commands, you will need to be using sudo a lot, um, so just be aware of that. Uh, we are changing fundamental system uh, files here, and so uh, sudo is required. Uh, so first off, um, you're going to see some of these suggestions because I've done a couple takes of this video and it's gone horribly wrong a couple times, so uh, just ignore those. Um, first off, what we want to do is type add user and then the username that you want. Um, so for my case, I'm going to add a user named Danger. Uh, and one thing that you do want to avoid is I know that uh, you know capitalization is proper um, but if you do this it is not gonna work so it's gonna ask you for your Kali password uh, if you type that in it's going to say please enter a username matching the regular expression blah 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 it doesn't give you a uh, an easy answer basically this is saying don't use caps in your username um, so all you got to do is uncap your username and this will be fine uh, you can use the dash dash allow bad name option uh, as it says here I would not recommend it just bite the bullet lowercase the first letter you're fine so now, once you get into this, it's going to ask you for your new password for your new user. So go ahead and type something memorable and very secure in there and type it again. And then it's going to ask you for some other basic information, such as your name, room number, work phone, home phone, other. I don't know why I asked you for this stuff, um, and I'm not going to do it. You can just press enter to skip through it, and it will not yell at you. Um, so now we have danger adding new user danger to supplemental X groups users and it's you know it, it tells you what it's doing um, whoopsie what have I done that was weird uh, so yeah tells you what it did um, basically it creates the new user it adds a new group with the same name as the user and then it adds that user to the group uh, and then it creates a home directory. So now if we actually look, um, so if we ls now, we are in Kali's home directory. But if we do cd dot dot, which will bring us up one directory, and now we are in the slash, um, slash home directory. No. Yes, actually, we are in the slash home directory now. Um, apologies. Uh, the slash home directory lists uh, the home directories of all of the different users that we have on our system. So as you can see here, we have Danger, Kelly, and please sub, oh god, please, uh, which was from a previous take. I did not know that was going to be in here. Um, so yeah, this allows us to see what users are on the system, who has a home directory, and so we could actually CD into the Danger directory and oh permission is denied well how about this no doesn't want me huh cd command not found cd as a shell built in command it cannot be run directly so you can't run cd with sudo good to know we're all learning uh, something every day i don't know why it's not allowing me to uh, take a look into the the danger home folder it might be because we're not in the same group all right let's try it um, so we're gonna go ahead and do a we're, we're gonna add Kali into the danger group and see if it allows us to access the the home file 
um, after that. So the way that you add a user to a group is you do sudo, um, sorry, not, not as add user, user mod dash a dash capital G and then the name of the group that you want to add that user to. So in this case, it's going to be danger and we want to add Cali to that group. So we don't get any output, but now if we type groups and then Cali, we can actually see that it is now in, and it's cut off a little bit, but it's now in the danger group. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we're able to CD into the danger, um, still denied. Okay, I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit further. For now, no biggie. Um, you can log in to your to your new user and see the home folder from there, um, but you don't want to do that yet. One thing that you need to do before you log in to your new user, if you want to be able to do anything on the new user, is you need to add them to the sudo group. Um, and in order to do this, we just saw uh, how to add a user to a group. It's sudo user mod dash a dash g and then the username and the group name. Whoops. So all we got to do here is, sorry, it's group name first and then the username. So sudo and then danger. Now danger will be able to use the sudo command. Um, so if we wanted to now, we could log out of the Kali user, log into the danger user, and be able to use the sudo command and, and administrate our system just like we're doing now. Um, one thing that I would suggest, though, is taking a look at the groups command. Um, so if we type groups and then we type danger, we can see that Danger is part of three groups, danger, sudo, and users. Um, and this will give him permission to do a certain amount of things. But if we look at the groups command for Kali, we're going to see that we're actually part of a lot more groups here. We're part of ADM, dialout, CD-ROM, floppy, sudo, which is very important, audio, dip, video, plug dev, users, net dev, Bluetooth. Um, and then there's some really important ones like Wireshark, Scanner, um, I'm not sure what KA Boxer is, but it's part of a lot more groups. So, if we want the full functionality of Kali Linux on our new user, on our on our danger user, we are going to have to add them to all of these groups. So, in the case of Kali Linux, I would actually not suggest creating the new user, um, just because. Uh, you, you kind of have to go through all the work of adding them to all these groups and stuff um, where you can change your password for the Kali user and it's going to be just as secure. But if you do want to make a less privileged user or something like that, then definitely make new users for sure. But in this case, I'm actually just going to stay on the Kali user. Um, also, I would have to customize the terminal again, which I don't want to do. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to stay in this in this user. Uh, so, how do we delete a user now? Since I'm not going to switch over to it, I might as well get rid of it, right? Um, so, the way that we delete a user is we type sudo del user, the username, and enter. And if we do that, group danger not removed because it has other members. Uh-oh. So it removes the cron tab and it removes the user. Uh, it did not remove the danger group because the Kali user is in that group. Um, so we're going to have to remove Kali from that group first and then we can delete the, the danger group. Um, also, one thing that you will see is if we ls, the danger home folder is still present. Um, and we, you know, obviously we deleted the user. We don't need their home folder here anymore. <clears throat> so what do we do here? We actually need to add a few more options to the del user command. So sudo del user, and then we need to do dash dash remove 
dash home, which will remove their home folder. And you can also do dash dash remove dash all dash files, and then the username. And this will remove everything associated with that user. Um, but we already deleted the user. Very unfortunate. Let's go ahead and try to add that back. Okay. I've created a few problems for myself here. So now we're, now we're getting the group danger already exists. Um, and I'll keep this in the video. This is a learning experience, even though, you know, it, it's mistakes that are being made. Um, that is how we learn. So now we know that in order to uh, add the user danger, which we had already added before, we actually need the group name available. Otherwise, you can't add the user. Um, so we need to remove the group. But in order to do that, we need to remove the Kali user from the group. So let's do sudo user mod dash r dash g. Uh, and then we need the group name, which is Danger and Cali. Now that should have removed the Cali user from the Danger group. And you can see here that it is no longer present. So now, theoretically, we should be able to do sudo del group for delete group Danger. The group has been removed. Fantastic. Now, let's go ahead and sudo add user danger and the reason we're doing this is so we can fully remove the user instead of just doing the kind of half remove thing that we did before so password i'm just going to make something quick go through that yes the information is correct it creates everything uh, and now if we ls we can see that it didn't create another danger home folder we still only have the one um, so now we should be able to do that command uh, and I'm just going to press the up arrow so we can get that back. So sudo del user remove home remove all files danger enter and now everything is gone. So we should be able to ls now and danger is gone. We no longer have that user on the system and all of their files have been removed. So that's it. We've added groups, we've deleted groups, we've had trials and tribulations trying to figure out how things work, um, but we got here and we learned a few things along the way that I didn't even know. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, hope you learned something. Um, in the next video, we'll be going over a little bit more of customizing Kali Linux, uh, managing processes, uh, maybe that'll be two videos, but yep. Go ahead, uh, drop a sub if you if you would like. As you can see here, need those subs, please sub. Oh God, uh, and yeah, till next time.